next guest is amazing, energetic, thoughtful, creative, and all of the good things going on inside of the cosplay community today. She's building skills for a long time that she's been in cosplay, putting together dozens of award-winning costumes over the last decade, adding her skill sets as she's gone along. She's an animator, designer, influencer, a streamer, has appeared at and in countless conventions. Please welcome the amazing McCarritick to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> it is so nice to have you on the show. I want to talk about your origins in cosplay to get us started. Uh, you know, I know a bit about your origin story just from hopping on your live casts, which you do, and you do an amazing job at. Uh, you've been uh, sewing and designing for a long time. You've won dozens of competitions along the way. Uh, but really, uh, you know, tell us how you got started in cosplay. And what keeps you coming back to it and, and continuing to go to all of these events and conventions? Okay, so it started back in 2011. I was traveling with my family up in Maine and uh, we came across two girls at a Chinese buffet. They were in costume. They were like dressed as Sonic the Hedgehog characters. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get a picture with them. So got a picture with them. Uh, and they started talking about the Comic-Con that was happening just across the street. But I mean, it didn't get a chance to uh, you know, check it out, go see it because, you know, we were traveling. And then like a couple years later, I started getting into cosplay, did like one cosplay a year for like, you know, my cosplay themed birthday parties for all ages. And then eventually I went to my first con back in 2017. It was uh, Long Island Retro Con, mm -hmm. which is over at the Cradle of Aviation, like maybe an hour, hour and a half to two hours from where I am. Uh, it's like one of my favorite cons so far because like they have like all the old video games set up and plus i've been going there for years since i was you know a kid and then mm -hmm. like after lockdown i believe it was i started getting more more and more committed to cosplay like i started doing like several cosplays a year like instead of just like one or two and uh eventually i started you know collaborating with other like cosplayers became like a member of the New York Fantastic Four on Instagram. We started like, you know, going to cons together as a group and yeah, even became uh, close friends with some of them. Yes, crazy, amazing, just amazing cosplays that you do, all of the foam work and just everything that goes into it. It's, um, it's nothing less than spectacular. I love all of the things that you've been doing. Uh, you're also into animation. You have a number of projects that I've seen on the internet. Uh, the the adventures are just really expressive and creative. Uh, it's just there. There's high intensity, and it's really just that. It it just looked. They looked. There were some earlier projects. Um, there there was just a, a lot of going on, and understandably, uh, a lot goes into this. I've had uh, animators on the show before uh, who have some things on YouTube, and you know it goes into um, you go into a five minute short for for animation, and you know there's. There's just there's a, so much going on uh, with what goes into uh, doing something like that. I would love to hear about how you came up with the concepts that you've created, figured out you know all of the expressions and the movements, and you know paired uh, paired a lot of really cool things together with the design and the real life elements. And so uh, I think most of those animations were from like mid to late teens. Uh, I did take uh, like one or two classes with uh, Don Duga himself, like the uh, producer, not producer, was he, like an animator or something of, uh, you know, Frosty the Snow Snowman. Yes. He had recently passed away. I was like maybe nine at the time. I did take some, take a class with him uh, several years later. Um, I, you know, uh, Caramel Dancing, uh, you know, those, those dances, uh, you know that oh oh yes yes i had gotten yeah i had gotten inspired by one of those videos to do like a short uh, like a gif kind of uh test animation of some of my friends and like i posted it like on my mom's facebook and everybody's like oh, i love it i love it you know and then I, I eventually uh you know expanded to like like maybe five ten fifteen minute uh long animations i entered them in like uh some film contests i would win here and there uh one of them was like a, a public service announcement for like texting and driving kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? Uh, like one of them, a uh, high intensity was an award winning animation. Like I, 
uh, entered it in like Long Island Comic Book Expo, not comic. I'm Long Island International Film. Long Island Long Island International Long Film Island Expo. Island. Thank you. I'm just. That's well. It's uh, that's a that's a mouthful yeah. for sure. <laughs> um, I think I haven't really done as many animations these days because I became more like committed to cosplay. Mm -hmm. uh, my most recent one was like like the beginning of this year. I had uh, uh, done a few videos with another famous TikToker, Arkham Knight Twenty Two Point Oh. Like funny story with that, we did a few videos. Like he loses his phone on the way back, and then I'm like, oh, I might as well make a few animations based off of off those. So I did. Um, yeah, and I would love to do more animations. You know. Oh, it's it's just amazing where it's just um, it's very unique. I, I love the approach uh, just watching a few of the ones that you had online and uh, available. Uh, they're just they're just really cool and really creative. And yeah, I love that. Um, just taking those ideas and elements from like things that have happened and being able to like spin them that way. Um, also, that... guys, if you're I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off like uh, no, it's okay. if you guys um, I mean, I did have them on my YouTube, but I just moved everything over to Rumble. It's like youtube but you know imdb and imdb it's on my imdb as well yeah that's where i saw them first that you were you were on imdb and i was like oh wow this is um this is like next level <laughs> there's there's awards um super very cool i mean you um you have been uh noticed for so many things uh, you were in an article that was published uh, about being part of a family unit that creates cosplays it was from dave uh, peone in 2022 um, and as mentioned, uh, you know, you do a lot of your own cosplays. You've been sewing for many years and working and building skills in cosplay. Uh, it's something that you do with your mom. She's a very talented uh, designer and seamstress. Um, just very, very cool person. Um, I, I do know of her work. Uh, I know that she's done some things for Anthony Kosjitsu. I know she's done some things for Samson Lula, yeah. uh, and, among others. Best and, mom ever. <laughs> she, she, she might be the very best mom ever. Um, would you like to talk Absolutely. about your the experience that you have uh, working as a family, uh, working on cosplays and creating so many different costumes as time has gone on? It's like, you know, it's something uh, that we do together, you know, um, we found something that we love and we commit to it. It's like she's had like experience with all the seamstressing, like you said, um, making wedding dresses and all of that. It is. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I kind of so I mean. They're kind of limited. I'm still learning. So my strong point is foam smithing, working with foam, uh, warbler. I'm still expanding, kind of. And I, I mean, the, um, I, I'd say you're, you're one of the most humble and modest people that I've had in your ability to make these things ever. Like it is so yeah. crazy good. Uh, really just, um, that's uh, one of the reasons why when I was reaching out to you, I was a little bit nervous because I'm like, wow, like, it's just like mind-blowing details and you're coming up with really cool creative concepts uh and not only that but joining different groups you're also a member of the new york fantastic four which you mentioned a little earlier in the show uh, would you like to talk about how you became a member of the new york fantastic four and just a little bit about the group yeah it was back in uh fanfare nyc back in uh 2020 just like a month before lockdown uh, that's where we met like all the members and like during lockdown when there's like pretty much no cons to go to nothing to do really we're like oh we should do like a fantastic four photo shoot like back then i knew nothing about fantastic four or anything and they're like hey would you be our sue storm i was like yeah sure why not and then it was it was meant to be like a one one time thing but we became a group like after our first photo shoot like just after uh, uh like maybe a year after lockdown down finally got to do our first photo shoot and then we became a group started going to cons as a group um sometimes it would just be like individual just like one or two members and uh yeah we love you know representing putting smiles in kids faces yeah and, and i mean you you work so well together i mean the things that you've been able to share online i know a few of the members and they're they're really nice people to work with they're super they're just, uh, they have a lot of commitment to community as well, like being able to do some of the events and things like that. They they go to a lot of conventions. You definitely do attend a lot of conventions, just um, many, many along the East Coast. I was wondering if you have currently a favorite that you like to attend. Long Island RetroCon is one of my favorites, as I mentioned before, mm -hmm. like as well the video, old video games and because I've been going there for many years. Uh, another favorite I have 
uh, is also like NYCC is one of my favorite, like huge, huge cons. Yeah, and a... and Cons another favorite of mine. It's like out of state. It's at the Mohegan Sun for those that don't know. Like I absolutely, you know, love the place there. Oh, that's fun. I, I will have to add, uh, I will have to add one of the, <laughs> I will have to add that one to my list. Um, I don't get out much to cons and haven't for a little while. Uh, but uh, my my goal is to try and get to New York Comic Con. But if there are if there are others in that area, like it's just um, it's always fun to like see what they do differently. And some of the different things like video games um, are, are, you know, just something that I grew up with and just love in general. I was actually talking to Sam about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles yesterday, and um, I'm not good at I was never good at the games myself. I was into use the G codes or Game Genie, which was a thing way back when. Um, but I do like watching people play the video games much better than I can. Um, and I know that, um, you know, you're into gaming. Uh, you do some streaming on Twitch, um, which looks to be a little bit more uh, yeah. of a recent thing. Um, just wondered, um, you know, do you have any favorite games uh, that you like to stream uh, online? I mean, I have a lot of favorites. I've been doing like, it's just casual Twitch streams, really. I've been doing it for like maybe a year and a half. I think one of my favorites is Zelda Ocarina of Time because I grew up with the Nintendo 64 and a bunch of old video games <laughs> like, would you sorry. like to would you like to hear a story about that particular video game I, I i wouldn't mind telling you this is um it happened a long time ago um i was with one of my friends it was around christmas and he actually um he opened up that particular video game first it was brand new at the time um he pried open the game he pulled out the he pulled out the cartridge uh, so that he could play it all night uh, before christmas and he put a he put a cassette tape inside and sealed it all back up so that nobody would know that he actually that he'd actually just taken the video game out so that he could play it before Christmas Day and like basically wanted to like to see if he could beat the game before Christmas actually happened. Um, but he put the tape in so that it would still sound like there was a video game in there. <laughs> um, but super fun game, super fun. Um, an another thing I would like to talk to you about is your Transformer cosplays. Unique, oh my god! Yes. Adaptive, amazing, like mind-blowingly cool. Um, what you are able to do, um, you know, looking at, uh, you know, like things like the Li One cosplay on Instagram, and oh really, god. you're kind of the the number one person that comes up uh, when you when you look for that particular build. You're like it, um, and but you have, you know, you've done like the full, the full thing. Like you've done the Transformer Elite One. Um, yeah. crazy good uh would you like to talk about the character and um i believe it was uh you did you did showcase it um probably more places than this but at the anyc in 2022 oh yeah like uh like the big you know the big build alita one she was meant for uh meant to be finished by like nycc last year but didn't quite make it in time for the contest unfortunately i tried to get it done for anime nyc but that didn't really work out either so I just ended up walking around uh, the floor it's I mean it was crazy when I first wore her you know I got stopped like every couple feet I would get stopped it took like five hours to get from one side of the con to the other in that thing because people are like oh can I get your picture can I get your picture and I'm like yeah I kept getting stopped you know mm -hmm. and then I did like the casual version of Alita one she's like one of my favorites so far probably by far you know that's how I pretty much got into Transformers, like the past year and a half, I want to say. She'll always have like a special place in my heart, regardless. Um, and also, I, I just remembered, I was recognized by the uh, Japanese uh, consulate for my big build, Alita One, Whoa. and showcased it on their uh, Instagram page. That's yep. amazing. <laughs> No, I'm. Uh, it's definitely credit where credit is due. That it's so awesome. I mean, I've seen. Uh, I've seen similar things in like big, big uh, convention, like um, competitive uh, cosplay stuff. Like when people when people go on stage, they're usually like you'll maybe see like one, um, like a Megatron, or you'll see like an Optimus Prime or something like that. I've never seen one of the one, but it was <laughs> it is absolutely at that level, like award winning. Like this is like super amazing, crazy good. Um, so yes. Um, just wanted wanted to um, definitely bring that up and definitely talk just a little bit about that and just how um, you know the uh, 
the skills that you've been able to build, the things that you've been able to do, they're just so cool. And really just um, the, the best part of the cosplay community, like just being able to showcase these things and share them and how you enjoy this with your mom and you're able to just really continue to like build and grow um, with cosplays. Um, I was wondering if, uh, is there anything coming up that you would like to bring to our attention or uh, a cosplay that you're finishing or will be working on soon that you are really looking forward to? Well, I re I just recently finished Aura Singh from Star Wars. Yes, uh, yes, I saw that. I do have a few projects in the works. I don't normally give away who it is until I'm almost finished or just about finished with them. So All right, there's well, some. <laughs> no, no worries. We will we will keep that quiet. Um, but always look forward to all of the things that you do. Um, they're just absolutely amazing. And just the pace at which you can keep coming up with the new ideas, new creative, just ways of, of expressing the, the, the builds and making different changes and different tweaks and, and all the different details. Uh, certainly well beyond my skill set for sure. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of people would agree that it's just really cool, really good and Yes, thank you. Um, thank you so much for for stopping in and being able to share this with us. Uh, where can we find you and how can we support you online? Okay, so my Instagram is McHeretic, like MC Heretic. A lot of people pronounce it Misheretic, Mishery or whatever. Um, that's my Instagram. Uh, my Twitch is also McHeretic. Um, I do have a TikTok as well it's a different name though i mean i might change it it's uh like the cosmic firefox 2000 is is uh my tiktok i'm mostly active on instagram though all right well you can definitely Jeez. find and follow mccaritic on instagram for sure we will have the links to where you can find her and follow her in the description below for the video friends Thank you so much for being here today. We appreciate it. We appreciate having the character on the show and sharing these amazing things and just being able to shine a little bit more light on what has been an amazing journey through cosplay and continues to be just amazing and fantastic work being done inside of the community. Folks, this is Scotty B and the character for the Heroes of Cosplay Sanctuary saying bye-bye to everybody.